On October 19th, AviaPro reported that Russian Su-57 fighter jets, also known as Felon, successfully destroyed Ukrainian air defense missile systems near Odessa. The fifth-generation Su-57 aircraft reportedly targeted several American-supplied MIM-23 Hawk anti-aircraft missile systems deployed in southern Ukraine. According to the fighter-bomber Telegram account, linked to Russian defense sources, the Su-57 strikes destroyed at least two MIM-23 launchers and an ANMSW-9 command post, sparking a fire captured on video by witnesses. The MIM-23 Hawk missile systems, supplied by Western allies to strengthen Ukraine's air defense, have played a vital role in countering Russian missile and drone attacks. Although over 60 years old, this reliable American system has been credited by Ukrainian officials with intercepting numerous Russian strikes. First introduced to the U.S. Army in 1959, the Hawk system has since been replaced by more advanced technologies. However, after receiving initial shipments from Spain in the fall of 2023, Ukraine successfully employed the Hawk to defend cities and critical infrastructure. Reports indicate that the Hawk systems were deployed near Odessa to protect dry cargo ships, but their positions were exposed and subsequently attacked by Russian fighters operating from the Black Sea. Despite their past successes, the MIM-23 systems failed to protect this strategic area from the Su-57's precision strikes. In further developments, the Su-57 fighter jets involved in the attack were equipped with KH-59 MK cruise missiles, known for their ability to strike targets up to 300 kilometers away. These guided missiles are capable of accurately hitting both land and sea targets allowing the Su-57 to engage from a safe distance, beyond the reach of enemy air defenses. The successful strike on Western-supplied SAM systems highlights the Su-57's formidable capabilities in both air and ground operations. The integration of KH-59MK missiles further enhances the operational range and effectiveness of the Su-57 underscoring its growing role in Russia's military operations against Ukrainian defenses. That's it for now. Stay tuned for more updates and thanks for watching.